if and only if there was a universe prior to, say, the Big Bang or prior to the formation of these ancient relic photons. So one other form of radiation, it's not electromagnetic radiation, it's called gravitational radiation. Gravitational radiation arises whenever there is matter in motion and whenever space-time reverberates. So famously, it was discovered by uh, three friends and colleagues of mine uh, and their team called the LIGO experiment in 2015. In September 2015, they caught the in-spiral of two black holes, each one 30 times the mass of our sun. They were moving at a fraction of the speed of light, a very high velocity. They eventually coalesced into one fused, exactly uh, the analogy is I like to use is fused into a giant black hole, but that black hole had a mass of say 59 times the, the mass of our sun. So where did that extra one mass of the sun go? Well, it went into shaking up the fabric of space-time itself. And that reverberation of space-time is called a gravitational wave or gravitational radiation. Gravitational radiation penetrates everything. When I shake my fist here in San Diego, you feel it there on the East Coast, but it's minute and it's overwhelmed by a multitude of other sources of local gravitational field distortion. But as these waves of gravity travel through space-time, they affect all matter and they go through all matter. And so we would actually weigh slightly heavier and then alternate, we'd weigh slightly less as a gravitational wave came into the room that we're in right now. It propagates at the yes. speed of light. It also has the virtue that they don't decay, but there's no radioactive decay of gravitational radiation. They're just like light, except they go through everything. 